everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel this is chelsea's tower readings and for today's pick a card it's going to be what would they tell you so what would this person tell you if they could now this could be a friend this could be a lover um anyone or even a family member i did four different piles for this reading pile one two three and four Choose the one that you are drawn to. Um, I will post the timestamps of the time each card starts at or each pile in the description as well as the comments. If you enjoy this reading, feel free to book one on my website, the link on your screen now. It's very easy to book and it's through PayPal. It's a video just like this unless you prefer typed either or is fine with me. Um, and yeah, guys, please just give a big like, give a big like, let YouTube know you like my content, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload, and let's get right into it. So, this is going to be for pile one. What would they say to you? Well, for, for our compliment cards, we have I love your cooking and you're making a difference. So that's beautiful. So this person would tell you that they absolutely, obviously love your cooking. You're probably a really good cook for most of you that are watching this and you're making a difference. So you're probably doing something to uplift humanity um, overall, but you're this person really truly sees you as making a difference in other people's lives. So we do have, Full moon in Capricorn, which is the end of a tough cycle, approaches. I feel as though maybe you and this person have gone through or are going through, sorry, a tough cycle. And if they could say something to you, I think they would say that they want, like, this tough cycle to end in a way. Now, this doesn't mean to end things fully, but it does mean to end a cycle. Like, as in, like, if you're fighting with them or if you're not in contact obviously it's saying like it being the end of that which is a good thing then we have libra which still comes out a lot uh this person definitely it's a compliment because um when we're using these uh astro cards it's really it's describing how they see you and libra is very balanced and harmonious libras are charming this is how they see you um they would tell you that that you are very balanced you you're fair you're people pleasing you're aspirational you're graceful um and then we have the numinous which is a very deep card this is like what the whole uh astro deck is based on but it's the unknown um they would tell you like it's so cool that you i feel for a lot of you you do have psychic abilities so they would tell you like how cool it is that you do that um that you can tap into the unknown essentially like that that's something that they would definitely tell you which is wicked cool obviously so that's why they would bring it up um let's see what else Wow, they would tell you that they've been waiting to talk to you, I feel. With the waiting game, and especially the throat chakra, I feel, um, well, with the throat chakra, this is really about someone who needs to speak, uh, they like they wanted to say something to you right so as in like this person what they would say to you is that they've been wanting to talk to you that's what i'm getting because i'm like wait yeah okay this person's definitely wanting to talk to you and that's the first thing that they would tell you they would be like i have been wanting to talk to you um then we have what should we do next we have trapped in fear this person has been in they, they would tell you that they've been like trapped in their head about this they would tell you that they've been thinking a lot of fearful stuff when it comes to you both i feel um and then because the waiting game again it's saying like they've been waiting so long to 
speak to you and yet there's still kind of like um choked up in a way what i that's what i want to say um i also want to talk about the waiting game we have here and this is going to let me see it's going to be more spiritual They've been working hard also to set things in motion, but spiritually they've been waiting for you. And this is what they would tell you because with the purple border, this is actually a spiritual card in the deck. So yeah, um, let's see. I do want to get a clear, like just one more card because it's like, what else would they tell you? It's like they would just tell you that they were trapped in fear. They want to move for, forward with you. They would say that. They would say, I want this new beginning for us. I want this tough cycle to end. And I want to move forward with you. This is exactly what they would say. Because again, they feel they're trapped in fear. And again, I feel they want to talk to you. Especially with the throat chakra. Because one thing they would tell you is like, wow, I've been wanting to talk to you. So they want to communicate that they definitely want to move forward with you. For sure. Whether this is you know, a lover, whether this is a family member or a friend that they're saying like they've been wanting to really talk to you and move forward with you and they think you're such an awesome person. You know, again, a Libra is very magnetic. So it's like, this is how they see you. Magnetic balance, you know, mysterious. So that was pile one and that's what they would tell you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe and I'll see you guys. Hi, those of you who chose pile two. So what would they say to you? We have for our um, love bombs, I still care as well as you are one of the most caring people I know. I really appreciate you. So wow, <sighs> very caring, <laughs> a lot of caring. The word care just sticks out here. I get that you are probably a very caring person. They care about you too. Um, with what do you need to release? This is actually telling me, um, they would probably apologize for something because when you release something, you're usually apologizing or you're usually forgiving someone as well. So it may be, they would be like, Oh, I like if you, maybe if you did something wrong, they would be like, Oh, well, I forgive you. Um, but this also talks about like, they would tell you like, Oh, I've been trying to kind of release the, connection in a way especially if there's been some separation but overall it's more of apologies um they want to with the sun card in the 12th house it tells me that they want to surrender to you and the connection i feel also they have forgiven you i feel they um or again they would want to apologize to you because they feel it would have been karma with the 12th house because uh the 12th house also talks about karma and you know compassion and subconscious mind that's what it's about so i feel like you know in their subconscious mind this has been building up um and they've they went from lacking a lot of self-awareness to having a lot more self-awareness I feel um hmm but they, yeah they would tell you like I have a lot of compassion for you I care you know I'm sorry um what else can we get with the sun um I just feel like they would be honoring you in a way like they would just be very expressive with the sun card like very expressive like they wouldn't hold back what they want to say that's what i really get with the sun card it's like just being very honest being very honest firm foundation temptation what they would say to you is uh, firm foundation temptation They've been very tempted, I feel, to reach out. That's that's one thing I would say, is that they have been feeling very tempted. Um, hmm. 
Let me see what else we can get. Also talks about behaviors. So if, you know, this person showed any, you know, negative behaviors, it's talking about, again, even apologizing for that. Um, firm foundation is going to be a more physical card. Um, I feel they would say like they've been working hard. I mean, they have been kind of maybe having some addictions, but they've been working hard and establishing a foundation for themselves. This is what they would tell you. Um, they would tell you that they want to have go have fun with you. I feel they would want to go out with you um, for sure because with rejoice and celebration, this is like really enjoying someone else's company and going out with someone so maybe asking you out so if this is like an ex-lover or again this could be a friend it's saying you know that um let's see what else also i kind of get you know if this person had cheated on you because for some, I kind of get that with the temptation in the Three of Cups. It's saying like they've now kind of moved past that and they're more on their way to a firm foundation. Because with the solitude, they've done a lot of inner thinking. Um, like they've been going inward a lot, I feel. And it made them realize um, a lot more about their actions. Because again, if this person did something where it was a third party type of situation and you didn't know about it and it ruined a foundation they would completely completely apologize for that and um again they would say that they've been in solitude for a while and they've kind of gained experience and they now know you know what they've done basically and they, they i feel they've learned from it this is what they would tell you um, that's what I'm definitely getting with these cards, but they would also apologize as well. So that was pile two. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye. three. So what would they say to you? So for our, our love bombs, we have, I admire your enthusiasm for life, as well as you're one of the most thoughtful people I know. So... Obviously, very, very lovely compliments. And I can tell that those of you who chose this, you do have good enthusiasm for life because we do have two great signs with Gemini and Scorpio combined. We have a lot of Scorpio here. Then, um, so we have full moon in Scorpio, which it's time to release negativity. Um, I feel what they would say to you is they have released any negative feelings when it comes to if you had a fallout with this person um i feel this is definitely what they would say they've been very they've been feeling very paranoid as well about it the scorpios um i'm a scorpio and we tend to be paranoid so <laughs> it's really, yeah especially full moon um then we have gemini which is the butterfly and scorpio which is the animal so they they really see you as you know for someone who sees a scorpio who sees someone as a Scorpio, they see you as very magnetic, um, intense, passionate. And then we have a mixture of Gemini. So not only do you have that like Scorpio to you, you're also very communicative. Um, you're versatile, you're flexible, you're social. This person just sees you as very social with them, but as well as you have the Scorpio side to you. Um, and it's something that they love and that's the reason why these two cards are coming out because it's like it's a blend of your personality um and again it's something that they would obviously like this is something they love so let's see what they would really say though yeah releasing negativity they want balance this is 11 so temperance. they want balance it would be literally a fulfillment of their wishes wow and love begins so i mean if this is a friend obviously they would say you know i want to balance this you know really i've been wishing for this for a while now you know believe it or not we do have a major arcana as well as two 
kind of like love cards. So it's like this person, whether it's a friend or a lover, they really care for you. They do love you, I feel. Um, but they would say really like overall, if you were to balance things with them, it would make them very happy. Then we have love begins. So they would probably tell you, you know, let's start this over. Let's do a new friendship. And then again, even lovers, they same thing. If this is a lover, they would want to have a whole new beginning with you. Like without a doubt, this would be something again that they, they have wished for, for quite some time. So let's see what else they would tell you. Yeah, the universe, wow, they feel like it's destined. They would tell you that if they got the chance to speak to you again, the first thing that they would tell you is that it's destiny that they even, <laughs> I feel that they even got the chance to again. Um, what else we can get? One more card for what would they say? I mean, very strong words. They've come, they would tell you also I'm getting that they've come a long way because we have financial and material changes, um, but it's for the better. And not just that, um, they would tell, well, they I feel they would probably admit to you they have been on hard times financially. That's something that they would probably talk about as well. But I feel that's more small talk. Like they've been going through um, a lot of hard times and probably that's why they would feel like, oh, this is, you know, this is destiny. And that's probably why they would tell you because they've been needing to release a lot of negativity. It's not just you. It's not that they have negativity towards you. It's just this negativity in general, which obviously like that's why they want to release this negativity. Um, but yeah, that's what they would mostly talk about with you and um yeah i mean overall very nice i mean i feel they will compliment you a lot like i said because we did have two zodiac signs here um we didn't have a house placement or anything so to me that's kind of just overall complimenting um some general aspects that you have so i mean that's that's about it guys so i hope you did enjoy this reading if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye it was pile four so what would they say to you? For our love bombs, we have, you have a wonderful family. I'm happy for you. As well as I trust you with my life. So this person obviously very much trusts you for sure. Um, as well as think that you have a good family structure. Um, it could be that you have a lot of support and maybe this is something that they would notice or they have noticed. Um, so we have be bold and make the first move as well as Sagittarius and Virgo. So Sagittarius tells me that they have been wanting, well, with the cardinal moon next to the Sagittarius, they have been wanting, I feel, to move closer towards you and make the first move. Um... They, it's just, I feel they're very intimidated. They see you as very independent. They see you as, you know, enthusiastic, as a Virgo as well, insightful. But, you know, Virgos are honest, you know. Um, also, maybe an alchemist. Maybe you're very witchy. Maybe you're, you have a lot of Sagittarius. You like to voyage. Um, but I feel this is, these are a lot of qualities that people can sometimes find intimidating. Um especially with Sagittarius energy as well, because they're very like self-righteous. Um, they do in a way like I have a lot of Sagittarius. So, you know, just all of that like energy and then Virgo being a more critical energy. Um, and then again, the alchemist, just very, very like good qualities, but can again be sometimes intimidating, which is probably why they would tell you that they haven't been able to make the first move. And it's because of who you are. And again, that's not a bad thing. It's just saying like they were, they would feel kind of <sighs> uneasy 
in a way to approach you. They wouldn't feel confident enough. So let's see what else we have. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know if it's just because they see you doing so well without them or... Okay, so they've been listening to their intuition. They've been resting. But they've been bored. We have two fours here, and I gotta say... That really... The, okay, so... They would literally be like, I haven't been doing much. <laughs> they would be like, I've been very bored. They have been very feeling like this heavy sense of discontent. Um, while they've been resting though, they've been listening to their intuition. I kind of want to tell what say, uh, see what their intuition has been telling them. Because it seems as though they've been in this period of rest and they would definitely emphasize this. They would tell you that they really haven't been doing much. Um, yes, they've been, they would tell you that they're heartbroken. So again, this could be a family member, um, a friend, or this could be a past lover. They would tell you they've been feeling bored. They've been experiencing heartache and loss. And that's what their intuition really that's what they've been feeling on the inside because again we're kind of asking what is going like hand in hand with the intuition card which is heartache um and they've been needing to learn from it but it's kind of like they got the shit end of the stick in a way because they've been in this kind of four energy and the fours aren't that great especially with these fours let's see it's kind of like a hermit mode and then harmony so wow and this would be the lovers what they would tell you is that they want it's like they just want things to be better within you two again again whether it's a lover a friend whatever they want they would say that they want harmony between the both of you because they feel this strong connection they've been trying to follow their intuition um, but even their intuition has been holding a lot of heartache. They've been resting. They're very discontent right now. I mean, it's kind of like all of this energy all around. They've been, and again, they would tell you that they've been wanting to make the first move. That's what they would tell you. But are they? That's the thing. I don't know. Because it seems like what they would tell you if they got the chance to say anything would be, oh, I've been wanting to reach out. But... That doesn't mean they're going to. So it's very kind of like, you know, but this is what they would say. They would say that they have been very discontent. Um, and, you know, they've been doing a lot of resting and I feel inner work and it has a lot to do with, you know, the situation I feel. But they would overall say like, but hey, you know, let's kind of fix this now. Um, even if it's just the relationship between the both of us from bad to good or whatever, they would just, that's what they would want because they have been feeling heartache and loss. So that was pile four. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.